Welcome to the Head Coach Program. I'm Craig and I'll be your head coach. Today we're going to cover the seven pillars that are going to make you the best head coach you can be. Hey Mike. Hey, how's it going? Great. Hey, good call out from a customer on the front end. Uh, you just helped her with a pair of Brooks. Okay. Hey, tell me a little bit about that uh, interaction. Yeah, so basically the customer came in, she was looking just to replace one of her old shoes and found out that she's gonna do a little bit more running. So we got her on the treadmill, did a gait analysis, found out that she had a previous ankle injury. So we put her in one of the new stability shoes that we have. Once she tried it on, she loved it, she felt the difference. That's awesome, way to ask the right questions, take care of the customer, great job, Mike. Hey, thanks a lot. Wild moment for you. Hey, thanks. Hey, keep up the good work. Yeah. Thanks. Recognizing our associates is one of the most fun things about being a head coach at Dick's Sporting Goods. And personally, it's the reason that I love being a head coach. Using the WOW program to reward our associates helps to keep them engaged and focused throughout the day and reassures that they are exhibiting the right behaviors at work. Being proactive, energetic, connecting and building relationships with our customers and exceeding our customers' expectations are all reasons to reward our associates and inspire them to be their best every day. As head coaches, it doesn't cost us anything to encourage our associates by saying thank you. And using the WOW program is a great way to do it. Hi, sir. How are you today? Good. Good. Hey, I'm Craig. Greg, Brian. Brian, pleasure to meet you. Nice hey, how was your here. service today? Uh, it was great, actually. Everybody was very helpful. Okay, great. Anything you weren't able to find at all? Um, actually, yeah, I got this uh, pair of shorts and I was looking for a matching top, but I, was, uh, I had no luck. Okay, did anybody speak to you about our online ordering system? No. So we can actually order that, send it right to your home. Just takes a few business days, free shipping. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm gonna do that for you. Absolutely. Yeah, come on, bro. It is always important to engage our customers, not only to find out if they got what they came in to purchase, but also to learn about how their shopping experience went. Getting customer feedback is the best way to learn how your customer service is throughout the store. It's also a good way to find out how your customers perceive the product assortment within the store. If any issues arise, the head coach can solve the problem on the spot. How are you doing today, ma'am? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. What can I help you with? Well, I noticed that these socks are the same, but the price is marked different. Let me check on that for you. Actually, they're ringing up $9.99, but uh, we're going to give you the $6.99 price since it's okay. our fault. Let me uh, just radio the cashier and let them know you're on your way up. My name's Jared, by the way. If you have any other questions or problems, let me know. Okay, thank you. Hey, Albert, there's going to be a lady coming up with a pair of yoga socks. They're actually going to ring up $9.99. We're going to give them to her for $6.99. They were priced wrong on our peg hooks, so if you could take care of that. As you can see from the video, an empowered associate has the confidence to make important decisions on his or her own. Jared and I had prior conversations about what was expected of him, and he knew that I trusted him to use his best judgment in situations like the one you just saw. Empowering your associates on the front lines allows them to feel comfortable making their own decisions. As a head coach, it's our job to clearly outline what constitutes good decision and encourage them along the way. This will allow for a better store efficiency while providing our customers with a well-rounded shopping experience. Okay, bud, here's your new Titleist driver. Thank you. Is there anything else you're looking for today? Uh, I think I'm good with this. Alrighty, have a good day. Good. Hey, did you just help that golf customer that was walking over? Oh, uh, yeah, the guy with the Titleist driver? Yes. Yeah, I sold that to him. Okay, great. Hey, I noticed he only had one club in his hand. Did you offer him any apparel or accessories at all? I mean, I asked if he wanted anything else or needed anything else, but I didn't really want to be too pushy with him. He seemed like he knew what he wanted. Okay. Now, there's a way to do it without seeming too pushy. Uh, ask open-ended questions. Find out, you know, you spend some time in the simulator with them. Build a little bit of a relationship in there. Find out where he's golfing. Uh, is it an event? Is it some kind of outing? Is he an avid golfer? What kind of shoes does he wear? What's his favorite apparel? Accessories, you know, things he might not have in his bag that he could need. Just a great way to add UPTs and kind of really round out the customer experience for him. I guess that's a really good point. I mean, I probably could ask a little more, a few more questions. Try it moving forward. I guarantee you're going to see better results out of that. I could do that, Greg. All right. Thanks, Marty. Thank you. Okay, Colin, here's the ping driver that you're interested in hitting. All right. Why don't you go ahead and take a few swings for us? Okay. So why are you in the market for a new driver? Um, I've had my old one for like four or five years. I think it's about time for a new one, really. Okay, well, this is a great one. So this will be a good place for us to start. Um, I really think you're going to like it. All right. 
So are you planning on playing golf this weekend? Yeah, I'm actually playing in a tournament. Oh, really? Yeah. It's going to be really hot this weekend. Uh, you know what? We just got this new Nike Dry Fit product, and I'd like to show you when we're done with this driver. Oh, It'll really? keep you nice and cool when you're out on the course. Yeah, I'd definitely look into that. Great. Sweet. Let's see how you do here. Hey, Marty. Hey, Craig, what's up? Nothing. Hey, did you work with the last golf customer? Yeah, the one with the driver. Sure did. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Hey, look, uh, I noticed he had his arms full. Looked like he's ready to hit the course. Oh, yeah. Uh, even mentioned to the cashier how awesome of an associate you are. Great. Tell me, what did you do differently there? Oh, well, you know what? He came in for a driver, took him back in the simulator, started talking a little bit, learned about his game a little bit, sold him the right golf ball, even showed him some Nike Tech fabrics that'll work for his game since it's going to be really hot this weekend. So hopefully he's going to hit the course this weekend for his tournament and hopefully play really well. See, that's great. You asked open-ended questions, you build a relationship with the customer, now Marty's his golf guy, he's sure to bring his business back. Yeah, I hope so. That's awesome. Way to go, Marty. Thanks, man. All right. The key to holding associates accountable is to regularly describe and set the expectations for customer service. Remember to reinforce what you know from game face selling to set the standard. In order to do this effectively, this requires you to be proactive and look for associate interactions to coach on. This will give you the chance to recognize and reward associates for what they're doing well and coach the areas that will help them grow and develop in the future. Hey, Team Sports, uh, Footwear's getting pretty backed up over here. Uh, you guys have three over there. Can we get Brock or Mike to head over to Footwear to help out, please? Yeah, Craig, I'll be right over. Here you go. Here's your shoes. Good luck in your race. Enjoy them, man. Oh, that's great, Mike. Hey, I really appreciate all your help today. Yeah, no problem. Have okay. a good one. Because Dick Sporting Goods has such large stores, it is vital that we have all of our areas covered. In order to achieve this, the head coach must create a no-boundaries culture and ensure that associates are cross-trained and knowledgeable about other departments. This allows the head coach to easily move associates to other departments and have the confidence that the customer will be taken care of. As shown in the video, staying alert and using a quick page on the walkie-talkie can alleviate any coverage issues in a matter of seconds. Lodge, we have a gentleman over in fishing. Looks like he could use some assistance. Can somebody go over there and help him, please? Sounds good, Craig. I'll be right over. Hi, how's it going? What can I help you with? Hi, I was actually looking for a new fishing reel. Oh, okay. Well, did you have a uh, certain brand in mind? Uh, honestly, no. I'm pretty new to this whole okay. thing. Occasionally, a customer goes unnoticed. A productive head coach that is always moving will be able to assist departments, including the front end, and move associates to the customer in a timely fashion. With quick use of a walkie-talkie, these issues can be solved efficiently while still allowing the head coach to be available for the rest of the store. Okay, you see Vicky here? She's an ideal cashier. She smiles, she's friendly, she's efficient. See the energy she puts forth? That's what it's all about on the front end. Hi, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Did you find everything you were looking for? Yes, I did. Okay, do you have a scorecard with us today? Yes, I do. Thank you. Welcome. Did anybody help you over in hockey? Yes, uh, Jason did, he was great. Okay, awesome. Hey guys, there's another cashier on their way. So are you playing today or this weekend? Yeah, this weekend with some friends. Very cool. Now you see Vicky over here still smiling, staying attentive to her customer while noticing a line building up and calling for help. That's an ideal front end associate, staying calm and cool under pressure. Coaching and energizing a friendly and efficient front end is especially important because it's the first and last touch points with our customers. As head coaches, it's our job to make sure that our associates are checking out our customers in a timely manner to ensure quick service. However, we don't want to ignore accuracy in the process. Cashiers need to be trained on the proper procedures and be knowledgeable of how to provide quick solutions for our customers. And most importantly, it's our responsibility to help bring energy to the front end. Being friendly is what we're all about here at Dick's Sporting Goods, and we need to take every opportunity to convey that to our customers. 
always finish up the transaction by thanking the customer for shopping at our store and invite them back to come see us again. Well, there you have it. Those are the seven pillars that you need to lay the foundation for your future to be a successful head coach here at Dick's Sporting Goods. Now go get them.